Hey everyone, Larry here. So, I'm going to be talking to you about an old show that's new again called Legends of the Hidden Temple. Now, here's a little back history with me in this show. I have no memory or any real true recollection of what this show was when it was on in the 90s. Like, I remember, you know, the different teams, as you can see, wearing this team color here. Um, I remember the teams, I remember Olmac. I remember they did like challenges and games, but I have no memory, no true memories of sitting down and watching this show growing up. Uh, so I figured might as well check it out and watch it. So if you're looking to watch Legends of the Hidden Temple, whether it be for nostalgia or just checking it out, you could do that on the CW app. Now, I've watched a few similar kinds of game shows in my past growing up. So I've been a huge Survivor fan. I will be reviewing season 41 of Survivor soon on the channel. So stay tuned to future videos about that. But, you know, watch Survivor, watched Endurance Hawaii, which was like a whole nother show that was more kid and activity games. And even more recently on HBO Max, I found a way to watch Karma, which was like a game show kind of thing, but I really loved those kinds of adventure game show kind of activities, but that's where I come into a lot of questions with Legends of the Hidden Temple. Now, don't get me wrong, it's really fun. I'm only watch episode one, um, and that's what I'm going to loosely talk about. Not too many spoilers here, but I was very confused watching it because, yes, it's something from like nostalgia childhood but at the same time too it was a little strange seeing adults play it um also legend of the hidden temple also had a movie um last i knew it was on hulu but that movie came out in 2016 but when it comes to you know this show i'm a little confused as to who it's for because you know you have the nostalgia factor of like you know mid <laughs> mid 20s high 20 age people who definitely watched this growing up who are playing the game reliving it um but you know it's just some of the things that went on in this first episode were just so funny to me like oh it was it was amazing just to kind of watch first off the blue barracudas are my team and they lost my favorite team lost so not too happy about that sorry that's a spoiler but they lost, but there can only be one winner in this show. So technically, it's not really a spoiler. But Blue Barracuda's lost this first episode. Um, but I didn't tell you who won. So, yeah, not a spoiler. Don't flag me. Um, but essentially, you know, they played the game. I was confused, and I'm looking forward to seeing in the next episodes how it works out. Because they only had four teams there. Um, they had the Blue Barracudas. They had the red jaguars the green monkeys the purple parrots but like you know there are more teams than that so i'll be curious to see how they incorporate some of those other teams um into the next episodes as we continue as we go on um one high point of this show is the host uh crystal alonzo i believe was her name so funny and this is where i was kind of saying like i don't know who this show is for if it's for kids if it's for you know adults but hysterical there'd be points where she kind of fourth walls the activities so one of the challenges the teams had to like blind test each other and like you know one had to pick an outfit and there's a wall in between and the other person had to pick an outfit and so they're putting it on and you know the person on one side is describing to the other person i have this i have this and the person's trying to put on a loincloth and then she just turns to the camera dead set like it's like you've never worn a loincloth before i died i laughed so hard because it's like she was looking to my soul she's like it's like you've never worn a loincloth before that was pretty funny. Um, additionally, one thing I don't like about some of these game show challenges, and I saw it a lot in Fear Factor and a lot of those other shows, is like if you have two teams competing in like a timed kind of activity, I don't think the other team should get to see or hear what the other 
what their competitors are doing. I think it needs, especially when it's down to the final two, I think they need to be somewhere else because then you have the advantage of seeing what they do and the flaws and I just don't think that's fair, but that's just me. I think they need to be somewhere separate and that's what brings on the challenge because then you have the opportunity to kind of pick and choose what you want to do, what you want to do differently. So I don't think that's fair. But back to Crystal, Crystal, you are amazing. Like the next thing you did in this episode while moving your fingers because there was a tiebreaker, <laughs> you were like, ooh, we're going to the tiebreaker situation. <laughs> I'm just like, who does that? <laughs> like, ooh. <laughs> It was great. It was uh, it was actually really enjoyable watching the show. The one thing I completely forgot when you're in the final challenge of the show, because again, I've seen this very loosely. Um, there was this part, I guess, where the temple guards come out. And when I tell you, I jumped when the damn temple guard came out. Literally, Crystal was like, Billy, watch out! It's a temple guard! And they were like, 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 like the walking dead. I was like, oh my god! They came out of nowhere. <laughs> but it was just amazing. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to the next episode. Hopefully my team does better. But this show, highly recommend that you check it out. If you're just looking for something fun to kick back and see. Uh... Yeah, so again, it's on the CW app if you're interested in looking at it, and it airs on Sundays. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.